In the weeks ahead of high school football season, end zone host Bill Shanks is talking to the coaches about their upcoming seasons. Here's part two of his conversation with Jesse Hicks of Central High School in this week's Coach's Corner. Earlier on the 6 o'clock newscast, we talked with head coach Jesse Hicks from Central about replacing Nigel Bowden, one of the top players in middle Georgia high school football last year. And uh, we talked with Coach Hicks now about his defense for 2013. You can't replace a guy like that overnight. Uh, so do you try from a collective standpoint to simply get uh, quantity maybe sure. over quality? Because you had that quality last year, so yeah. is quantity as important for you this year? Well, it, it's, it's important every year, Bill, but the big thing about us defensively is is that we got a lot of guys, again, from even from the offense standpoint, defense standpoint, that played that were young. Mm -hmm. And uh, somebody's got to be able to – I don't think you replace him. You just got to get guys that are going to be consistent. And we got a lot of guys who've been working ever since. I think we gave them five days off after that last game, and they've been grinding ever since. So, um what we got to do right now is just finish putting it all together. Find out those guys who are going to be able to make plays for us. And defensively, it's real, it's real simple. You run and you tackle, mm -hmm. and you do it with aggression. So, you know, you don't have to replace Nigel. You just hope that we got enough guys, like you said, quality guys around that are going to run to the football and make plays. So, name a couple of guys for us that you're going to really depend on the, on your defense this year. Well, I tell you, Carrazio Foster was a guy I mentioned offensively. Another guy's going to have to go both ways for us. Mm -hmm. uh, Deontay Richburg started at corner for us and had a couple of interceptions for us on last year. And uh, the, young, the guy that's got to go have to step up and be that guy to replace is Mr. Steelwell, who's going to be a junior. Mm -hmm. So, you know, like I said, we do have a lot of guys who've been working and, and know what we expect. But the big thing is it's just going to be when are they going to make the plays. The, I was not there last year as a player and say I wasn't in that spot. Now I'm in that spot. And we got to give them repetition be so that we can see if they're going to be able to make those plays. Coach Hicks, you knew this was not going to happen overnight. This may take a little time. Are, right. are you happy looking into season two now? Now of where you are, not only compared to last year, but look, you know how coaching is. It's what have you done for me lately? True. People are going to expect those expectations to be a little bit True. higher because you place that on yourself. True. So you're too even more prepared to be competitive right. and win some games compared to a year ago? Well, you work to win. Mm -hmm. You know, you go out there with the intention and you work 365 days to get to the point to do it again and you want to get a W. I, I, I'm is my expectation level on myself is just as high and just as well as the kids. So we will increase. We will be better. We'll be better than two and eight. Our goal every year is to win, play for a state championship. Mm -hmm. But you got to win, the, you know, you got to win some games. You got to win the battles. You got to cross a couple of Jordans to get to where you need to be. But I think right now our mindset is where it needs to be. And that first game, August 30th against West Side, West Side, Side, West Side kind of right. starts those city teams, though, doesn't it? It, it does. And West Side's never lost to a team in this city. Right. We want to be the first to do that. Yeah. Well, hey, thank you for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank Good you. luck to you for the upcoming season. We appreciate, appreciate you having me.